With a full-time job, um, especially once I became a head teacher, there was very little time for me to enjoy any hobbies at all. So um, once I took early retirement, I began again, and I've, I've been through the full range of um, mediums, acrylics, pastels, but I always tend to go back to watercolours because I do um, love that medium. And it lends itself very much to um, portraits of animals. Um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It takes a, a lot of my time, but I also still do home tuition. And I find it's a great catalyst with the children because they all love art and like to watch my paintings progress. So it's, it's if you like, it's... Um, it's a little um, opener for them, um, something else to talk about besides school. It's very important to be creative as a primary teacher especially because um, you, you, need, you need that element, creativity. And for children, young children especially, they love to be able to um, use different materials to create, whether it's paper and glue, paint, um, to be able to express themselves in a way that they can't when they're doing academic subjects. Um, yes, and it helps with that broad, balanced curriculum to give them lots of opportunities to do that kind of thing. I have a Labrador, Amber, and um, I had never done a portrait before. Never thought I could. I, I love to paint flowers and landscapes. Um, but I painted Amber and was so pleased with it and got some really good feedback from other people. Um, so I started to paint more and um, came here last year and got several commissions, thankfully. And the fact that other people want to um, buy a portrait of their pet and hang it on their wall is uh, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. I love it. Um, but I would do it anyway. Yeah, I just love to paint.